Tell me more about the mistakes because that's what stops people. They they start off, uh, you know, enthusiastic in their new endeavor, and the first failure, the first mm -hmm. mistake, the first error, whatever happens, uh, they get discouraged. Mm -hmm. They they quit or mm -hmm. they feel like. This is impossible. Mm. How do you handle that? How do you handle those big uh, kind of letdowns? Um, I think the it, it's like you have to know as where you're at, and then know that you are going to like almost like an expectation that you don't have all the answers, uh, that you aren't at that place where you know it all, and you shouldn't assume that, and just mm. be be more compassionate toward yourself. Um, you know, there's many times I put videos on YouTube where people were, you know, saying you said this, you know, like <laughs> uh, said something offensive. Uh, for instance, I used to always say, I met Rob at 41 and, you know, I waited my whole life to meet my partner. And then all these women that were over 40 said to me, you know, you're acting like 41 is old and I'm 50. So you're making me feel old. Right? So that's the uh, so I adjusted and I, I oh, I didn't realize that that was something that was offensive or uh, not sensitive and we just go on we just mm. move on um of course you're not going to bend for everyone in every criticism but it's always good feedback it's always good to be able to hear feedback and listen to people and see well that makes a lot of sense and um no harm no foul and uh just move on <laughs> you don't <laughs> so obsess about it and say i'm a terrible person and I'm never going to be good at it. And I've taken a lot of criticism. Um, I've had people, you know, talk about, you know, videos I put up on YouTube mostly. And uh, emails we've got, um, people that say I charge too much or people that say you're not helping this type of mm -hmm. audience or your pictures are, you know, there's always something, there's always someone that's going to try to tear you down. And it's, I, I see them as reflections of our own self-doubt that get reflected out externally. Yeah. So we're always going to have a little self-doubt and it's going to show up out there. And when it does, when we get that criticism, it's a chance for us to work with our own self-doubt, not to feel bad and get discouraged.